Look who's back for a rematch. Phil Hellman, where is he? If I see him, I want to charge him. Big week if you want to wear ear plugs. Forces collide on the final week of the big game. Next. This better be my week. I'm getting sick of this <clears throat> BS. Royal Canadian no, Mounted no, Police. No, this is the Municipal Police Department, Vancouver. Uh, have you ever had to draw a gun? Plenty of times. She's got a boyfriend, Ken. King six for Ken. Have you ever shot anybody? I don't know if I can say it out on TV. <laughs> <laughs> How many people have you killed? Did you work for the <laughs> Did you work for the CIA? King Jack for the brat. Done lots of undercover work. Wow. Tony G facing a raise from Phil Helmuth with 9-10. Here we go, Phil. Did you raise him? Tony G calls. Nacho Barbero lets it go. A7 for Hashem makes the call. Back to the same tricks. I'm not going to let you two just enjoy the Back to the, the same old, same old. I feel like I'm stuck in the middle of a triangle. Stuck in the middle. Let's hope Tony doesn't cut your ear off. and <laughs> Flop eight, Queen Jack. Tony G flops the nuts. First hand. Check. This isn't even fair. Joe checks. How many's got middle pair? He's supposed to continue. And he checks. Tony G fires 5,000. Is that 5,000? That is five. Hashem folds. Almost a full pot size bet. These guys rarely fold a pair on the flop. Helmuth calls. You were gonna draw. Draw your gun. I got a big draw, Tony. What do you want me to do? Turn, five of diamonds. Phil's big draw, now drawing dead. Helmuth checks. Tony bets 15,000. Almost pot sized again. Got a big draw. Spade. Phil calls, and Tony is loving it. River, four of hearts, no help to Phil. Not that he could get any. Checks it. Tony bets 50,000. Phil's in big trouble if he thinks Tony's just triple barreling. Where's the big draw now? <laughs> oh, where's the big draw? First hand of the night against Tony G, probably making this a harder decision than it should be. There's Phil's coach, Lane Flack, watching from the green room and can't help him right now. I think I'm gonna check to you or what? I thought maybe you would, yeah. Yeah. This is an overbet which polarizes Tony's hand to nuts or air, and on the first hand of the night, it's just gonna seem so much more likely that Tony has air. Now, if you've never seen this show before, these two have a relationship like Wiley E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. It usually involves Phil blowing himself up and Tony sticking his tongue out. <laughs> All right, I call. He makes the call. There you go, welcome to the game. Ouch. <laughs> just flops the nuts just off the bat. Welcome to the game. You've been doing a lot of talking. Now, now show me your bullets. Show me what you brought to the game. Where's your money? Don't tell me you're going to play with that crap. You're not going to embarrass yourself here, are you? Yet again, Phil, produce. Pull out your money. <laughs> I love the show. First alternate, Daniel Negrano, can follow the action backstage with Lane. But they cannot oh, see the whole cards. My, my consultant job is I short. I bet you he had like ra raggedy queen. Yeah, king queen. I bet you didn't even have that. Daniel would win that bet. Phil just had king jack. And after the first hand, the brat loses nearly three quarters of his stack down to just 28k. Nice hand. Yeah. You're happy for me. I know. <laughs> and I really stuck it into you there, the river, right? I put that knife in, opened up those wounds. You were bleeding it all out. Did you enjoy it? There's a difference between being on the streets and being here in a, in a studio, taking on the best player in the world. I mean, he purports to be the best poker player in the world. I mean, that, that's, that's what he's selling us. Oh, beat me in the hand, Phil.